All right, good day. Good to be back out there. Um, you know, first day of live contact, tackle to the ground kind of stuff. And I told, I told the kids, you know, it's, it's so important because, you know, when we're in thud and our kids do a good job in thud, but, you know, you always hear, you know, I'd had him right there. I'd have got him on the ground. or I, I'd, He wouldn't have tackled me right there. I'd have run him over. Or I'd have made him miss or whatever. Well, when it's live to the ground, then, I mean, there's no debating. I mean, you either do or you don't. You either make the play or you don't. And so it's, 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 it's the balance especially early in camp. I think that stuff's important. Um, I thought we had a good competitive day, had three different live sessions during practice. Um, kids were, you know, pretty juiced up for it and went at each other pretty good, which is good. And so uh, great film to uh, get better from. Do you feel like the, you know, the defense almost relishes this day more just because they can finish that tackle? Or do you, do you still hear it from the offense? To... Oh, yes. I mean, I think, you know, the defensive kids, we had a really good practice on Monday. Um, I really thought the offense responded today. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm talking about is, you know, a couple of those tackles we didn't make, you know, uh, inside run. You know, we'd block a play up perfectly. The defense would play it perfectly. You'd have a free hitter versus a, a running back in the hole. And I thought our backs did a good job today uh, of making the play, you know, and not getting tackled, you know, one-on-one -on -one as much. So um, I think it's good for both sides. But, uh, yeah, it, the defense always gets juiced up when it's live. A week now into practice in North Carolina, he, how's, how are the big boys holding up? How's the offensive line holding? They're doing fine. Um, you know, it's certainly a conditioning thing. The first few days they struggled. Uh, we had to pull back on some reps with a couple of the kids. But, uh, you know, today they all went their full, you know, their full racks. And so, you know, they're getting there. Do you feel like the compete level dials up on a day like today? Yeah. Or, I mean, not that it's down, but. No, I mean, I, I think it's certainly, I mean, that's, you know, I prodded them a little bit this morning before we got going too. So I mean, it's, you know, that's that's what they do. You know, they compete, and that's you know, I don't I don't worry about that piece. Now the execution and then doing things right. You know, that's that's where we got to continue to improve. But they'll go out there and they'll compete. I know the inside guys love that goal line period. Did you guys go ahead and give them to that? Give them well, that we, one? what we did, um, we did a two point uh, shootout kind of deal to start practice. Uh, so that's a little bit different than goal line. But the, at the end of practice, we put the ball on the 12-yard line, first and 10, and played it out, you know, red zone situation. Uh, the one scored a touchdown. Uh, the twos ended up uh, holding the second offense to a field goal. How much did the last few days still almost kind of a stomach bug throw a wrench in the camp? Right yeah. now we Not ideal. I mean, it's uh, it definitely, you know, got kind of got us out of whack, and, you know, we're still at full strength. Uh, still got some guys out and got some guys that were out there that were really battling through that didn't get cleared until this morning. So, um, yeah, you know, it's not ideal. But, you know, I told the kids, I said, after 2020, you know, we can handle pretty much anything. You know, it's kind of the next man up mentality. And I, I, I told the Wally Pip story last night during the team meeting and Lou Gehrig and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I think that's important that, you know, you never know what day is going to be your day. You know, Jacob Saker got, uh, you know, got the nod at right guard today with the first unit and played really, really well. And so, you know, the fact that he was prepared for that, you know, that's, you know, you, you never forget that day when you get your chance and you're prepared and all of a sudden now you got some confidence. How's that wide receiver room shaking out? I think really good. I think we've improved this week. Uh, I think we've got multiple guys making plays. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, just, you don't just have one guy. You've got several guys. Uh, I think our timing is getting better. Um, you know, the touchdown with the one offense was um, Holton to Isaiah. Uh, so it was good to see him make that play. Uh, I think that's going to give him confidence and Holton confidence. And, uh, but there's, you know, I think Jalen has had a very, very solid camp so far. Um, I think CJ is having a very solid camp. Uh, you know, Ryan is having a solid camp. Shane is having a solid camp. Uh, Josiah is having a very good camp. So uh, I think that there's lots of guys doing a lot of good things. Okay. What have you seen out of the corners? Uh, you know, we, we heard uh, this weekend that they feel like they're just popping right in. Have you seen guys stepping into that kind of role? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the older guys have been with us, I think, are playing well. Uh, Malik, Demel, uh, Juwan Powell, even though Juwan uh, did not practice today, he's had a good start to camp. Um, I think, you know, you're seeing, you know, what can some of the younger guys do? Uh, I think that, uh, you know, Fletcher Marshall, uh, I think he's probably going to be able to contribute hopefully this year. Um, Isaiah Brown-Murray, I think for a true freshman, um, you know, is out there competing. We'll see if he's ready to play this year. Um, you know, pre-Washington, 
uh, is having a very solid camp. So, uh, you know, I think solid. Uh, now I think they're getting challenged because, uh, you know, if they line up against, uh, you know, those top guys, you know, they've got to they gotta have their stuff together now. Looking ahead to Saturday, the first scrimmage, you put a lot of emphasis on trying to figure out who's going to be that 2-3 spot potentially in some certain positions. What of your main goal coming out of that this Saturday and how many plays do you expect to run and whatnot? Well, I'd say we'll probably get somewhere around 100 plays in Saturday, uh, some combination of the lineups. I think that, uh, you know, I think everybody will get work. Uh, certainly some of the more known commodities uh, that have played a lot of snaps for us, um, you know, they'll get the work they need to continue uh, improvement towards uh, getting ready for the opener. Uh, I think the big thing is, you know, figuring out who's going to be in that depth, who's going to travel. Uh, we'll do a lot of special teams work on Saturday. We have everything installed. Uh, and so I uh, want to get some live special teams work with the officials. So. Um, it'll be good. I mean, it's the first time in the stadium for some of those kids, and that's always, you know, they got to get used to that. Um, but, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Coach Fairner spoke, spoke on Saturday pretty candidly, and, and just uh, what have you seen out of him as he's, you know, come back and been able to operate and, you know, grow? Well, uh, that, was, that was pretty impressive watching him stand up there and talk like that Saturday. Um, I'm probably as, as pleased with him and his maturity and, growth uh, is maybe anybody in the program. You know, uh, that first year, I didn't know if he'd be around after a year. You know, it's just, you know, the maturity level, he wasn't quite there and, um, you know, it's, he had to grow up. Uh, he's grown up. Uh, as much as I hate that he missed the 2020 season, it may have been the best thing to ever happen to him. Because I think it, uh, you know, when you get something taken away from you, you know, you figure out just how important it is to you. But uh, I see him as one of our leaders. Uh, I see him as a, a positive example for the young kids, um, and certainly he's having a very good camp. You look at safety and Tegan Wilk and Julius Wood, they both played a decent amount last year, but yep. what's what's the biggest key kind of going from that part-time role to maybe try and step into that, that full-time starting role for them? Well, the spotlight gets bigger. You know, it's, it's different when somebody else is trotting out there first, uh, but the spotlight gets a lot bigger when it's you. And so I think, uh, you know, just being able to handle the big stage, which I expect both of them to, you know, they're both having outstanding camps. Uh, Sean Dorso, Jairo Wilson, both having outstanding camps. So I think we've got a good, uh, you know, combination of four guys there that I would see as starters playing those two safety positions on the back end. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, see you Saturday.